What are you doing here? I said, what the fuck are you doing here? Why have you come here? Because you've been abandoned by the powers that be. And there's nowhere else to turn. with a rucksack full of explosives. Government will dish you out a free car these days. But keep your head down, be a good citizen, and walk without a limp, and you get zip. You count for nothing. That's why you're all here. And your cries fall on deaf ears. But if you want to spend the rest of your lives getting bullied and raped by cunts like Blair, and having paedophiles wander their fucking playgrounds while you smile mutely and pay your fucking taxes, and get out the door.
There's actually bodies on the dark wax and DJs. You're listening to audio on dark wax radio. All the way through till 10 o'clock.
live and direct from Brighton, South Coast UK. Massive big ups to the Necrosis, all the autopsy boys. Massive big up to the Deponics, all the Dark Wax crew.
System analysis initiated. Big 
shout to Chang, all the autopsy boys, all the Bryant crew.
leaking, bones getting broken, eyes are wide open. Sounds and tactics, ruthless practice, here's to make the point and put this sound on the atlas.
out to the Panacea. Get yourselves over to myspace.com forward slash position chrome.
out to the MCBZ. A little bit of clips coming your way later on. Possibly the last one. The last one ever to be played on Dark Wax. Big shout to Hopes, big shout to Vile.
I live the life of sin.
since then, the number of cases has been steadily increasing. To watch a patient in a state of unavoidable decline runs against every instinct I have. When the dreadful day comes, I try and make things as easy as possible for the family. Even then, their hopes can be very unrealistic. Nurse, could you double the benzodiazepine? Yeah, that's probably one, <laughs> one and only reload you're gonna get. Big up all those locking in. Big up audio twiddling the knobs. Yeah, big up Lucy, the dark wax dog. Yeah, big up more. Easy, more fantastical. Dark wax in the place. I first diagnosed symptomless coma three years ago, and since then, the number of cases has been steadily increasing. To watch a patient in a state of unavoidable decline runs against every instinct I have. When the dreadful day comes, I try and make things as easy as possible for the family. Even then, their hopes can be very unrealistic. Nurse, could you double the benzodiazepine?
out to all those that know. We're going to end on a fucking big note. respect to all those listening, it's the last one. Big up Mr. Audio for trekking down.